Miss Biscuit is here with me today. Happy Vlogmas. I'm just doing a little bit of a sit down video today. I didn't have much footage from my actual shopping trips. We've been trying to finish some of our Christmas shopping up and we like to do a lot of thrift shopping. Um, I got a couple fun things for the kids that I'm not going to show here because sometimes they do watch my videos and we want them to be a surprise. But I was going to show something above for myself and also some of the clothing I bought for my daughter because um, she's a growing girl. Oh, bye, Biscuit. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to start with what I bought for myself because I feel really silly, but like I'm a 90s child and I found this Furby classic toy. I used to have one as a kid and honestly, I kind of missed my Furby. I liked it. Um, I did get freaked out by it one time when um, its battery started dying and it just wouldn't stop like making the most cursed sounds. But you know, when the batteries are working, here we are. So the one that I had as a kid was a little light gray one, but this one was at Value Village for $2.99. Oh my goodness, its eyes are kind of like rolled back right now. It's just... <laughs> like this so it looks a little less cursed but yeah it's a it's one from 1998 according to the tag so from the era that i would have had it as a kid so let's try it out 2.99 just gonna pull off the tag here and <laughs> Oh, this is kind of a cool screwdriver. This is my husband's. And if you hold down the end, you can just turn the middle and, you know, less twisty. It's an iFixit screwdriver. Here we go. It is open, takes double A's. I'm ready. Here we go. Let's twist it up. It's been a while. I can't even remember how to, like, turn it on. There is a reset button here. Do you remember how to turn it on? Gave him his batteries. I gave him his batteries. There is like a little reset doodad down here. Yeah, did you hit it? I don't really know. I've, I've tried, but it doesn't, I don't know if it's just too oh, thick. Yeah. Shall I Google? Press and hold down Furby's tongue switch. Let's see if that does it. Yeah. That's it. Oh. Mm -mm. Did I get a dead one? She's unresponsive. <laughs> Let's look. Wiki How has some info. Where's this on off? It's different than the picture. This on off could be destroyed here. Hmm. He might just be a shelf ornament. Hold Furby upside down, stick your finger in its mouth, and hold down the tongue. While holding down the tongue, press the reset button on the bottom of the Furby. Oh. That's a lot. <laughs> That'll reset all of the learned English and also its name. Insert the fresh set of batteries, close the battery compartment, and slap the back and bottom carefully but strongly. This is intense. One eternity later. I think he's a dead one, but he'll still look really cute on my shelf. I'm going to throw him back there <laughs> on my streaming setup. So, hello, Furby. So this next item that I'm going to show you isn't actually from yesterday, but it was from a recent shopping trip at Value Village. So these are very interesting. They are actually a smart curtain system. We got two sets of these for $14.99 and they hook up to your, your smartphone and they open your curtains. Where am I? One's upside down. <laughs> but um, anyway, but I'll show you what it looks like on our actual setup. So we only have one of the sets put up together because they actually hook onto the round set of curtain rods. And most of our curtain rods in our house are the T-bar kind. So we have to get like a different adapter, I think. But it's still very cool. It's very loud, so I wouldn't want to put it in my like bedroom to, you know, slowly wake me up in the morning because it's going to wake you up in the morning. You do but, have it on the performance mode, so it is loud. Yeah, there is performance mode and a, a not performance mode. I don't know. I didn't set it up. But, <laughs> but anyway, I'll show you that and then we'll dive right back into the next item. 
So we are currently in my dining room right here. You can see at the very top in the middle that we have the contraptions up there. They don't quite close together because we haven't really finagled that. But here's the app. Let's open them. And there it is. Ta-da, it's like magic. Biscuit got very concerned about that. She's like, what the? All right, so the other option that we have is we have just like, you can give it a small tug. So like, there it is up there. It's just a small tug. And then it starts closing on its own all the rest of the way. So this is definitely one of those items that I would never buy full price, but since I saw it there and it had everything you needed to get started and it was only $14.99, I'm like, I gotta try this just for fun. Let me know what you think. Okay, next. So Value Village has an option where you can get a whole bunch of toddler clothes and fit them inside a bag for a small price. So this is the small size bag for $3.99 and you can basically stuff as many things in there that's in the size range as possible. So I like to take it as a personal challenge to get as many items of clothes as I can in there because I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make my $3.99 as valuable as possible. So let's see all the items I got. They're probably pretty wrinkled because I really jammed them in there. But first one, little t-shirt here. Cool bird. Adorable. So this one is a Hello Kitty little tee. And the back is super cute. It has this bow design. I think little Abby is going to look adorable in that. And it's officially licensed, it appears, at least to my untrained eye. So this one is a little jean skirt with a feather design. A little frayed, but I think I can, I think I can fix that. Here is another little tee. Well, oh, a little sleeveless one for the summertime. Little dolphins on it. This one here is actually the reason why I wanted to buy a bag because it was um, this O Canada little hoodie and it feels so thick and nice and it almost feels like it's never been used. Um, very fuzzy, very warm. O Canada. Needed. <laughs> and then I have two more things, both pink. So this one is very cute. It's more under the sea. And look at all these different little sharks. They are so cute. I really like that lemon shark. It's so shy looking. Adorable. This one is like for the summertime. Hello, summer. It's in a little bit of rush shape. I kind of feel like it probably got left outside at some point. It looks a little sun bleached on the back. But I mean, like when you're in summertime and you just need some play clothes, we are set. So I always have a good time going thrift shopping for kids clothes because kids clothes are so expensive and they outgrow them so fast and they just get them real dirty. So I feel like it's the perfect way to, you know, get a whole new wardrobe. So, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed today's little mini vlog. I can't wait to show you the rest of the things we got, but we'll have to wait till Christmas time. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.